Welcome to Storytime with Sugar. Today we're reading Super Scrumptious Jelly Donuts Sprinkled with Hugs. Left arm, right arm, hugga hugga. I'm so happy to see you, the geranium lady said as she gave Joy an extra big hug. <clears throat> Was all Joy could say as she waved her arms up and down. Then the geranium lady led Joy into her living room for a surprise announcement. All the neighborhood kids were sitting on beanbag chairs, eager to hear the big news. First, the geranium lady handed each child a supply of her hug coupons. The Bible says we are to love and encourage each other. Give these coupons to anyone who needs some cheering up. Each is good for one free hug, she said. The geranium lady then announced her exceptionally big news. I'm starting a fun contest for everyone here. Whoever comes up with the best way to hand out my hug coupons to people will win a year's supply of chocolate-covered, super scrumptious jelly donuts. The kids came up with several ideas like puppy dental floss, gum that blows square bubbles, even an umbrella that turns rain into lemonade. But as good as those ideas were, the geranium lady pointed out that none of those inventions could hand out hug coupons. The kids realized this was not an easy contest. They needed time to work on their ideas. The geranium lady invited Zach, Sarah, and the other kids to return to her home the next week to explain their inventions and ideas. The next week, all the children returned to discuss the contest. The geranium lady gave them each a big hug as they walked in, left arm, right arm, hugga hugga. Once inside, they saw the strangest thing. Wild geraniums were everywhere. Even Wumpy had geraniums growing in his fur and out of each floppy ear. What happened, Zack asked. Well, the geranium lady chuckled. It seems that Wumpy dragged a bag of geranium seeds inside and then rolled in the seeds. Now everything in my house, including Wumpy, is blooming. Sitting in flower-sprouting furniture, the kids told the geranium lady how much fun they were having in fitting ways to hand out hug coupons that shared God's love with people. Each kid had to win the year's supply of chocolate-covered, super-scrumptious jelly donuts. The day of the contest, all the kids gathered in the geranium lady's blossom-filled living room. She and Wumpy were the two judges. They sat closest to the makeshift stage in two flower-sprouting beanbag chairs. The kids came on the stage one at a time and proudly presented their wild, wacky ideas. Joy had created a dog collar and leash, which won't be modeled, that dispensed hug coupons. That way, someone could walk a dog and give out hug coupons at the same time. Zach's idea was to take all the extra geraniums growing on the geranium lady's furniture and do something special. He would tie a hug coupon to each flower and take them to patients in the hospital. As he prevented the flowers, he would tell the people how much God loves them. Brad invented a water sprinkler that shot hug coupons high into the air. Sarah converted a cuckoo clock so that it scattered coupons every few minutes. Then Michael came on stage. He had a giant robot hidden under a sheet. Yanking off the sheet, he yelled, introducing the hug robot the hugger robo matic whirled and twirled off the stage and gyrated toward the geranium lady, trying to give her a hug. A hug coupon was then supposed to slide out of its head. But instead, the robot began chasing the geranium lady around the room. Its arms clapped back and forth in mechanical hugs until its head overheated and spun off into the air. After the kids had presented their ideas, the geranium lady and Wumpy decided that the winner of a year's supply of chocolate-covered, super-scrumptious jelly donuts was Zach, who combined hug coupons with geraniums to share with those in need. The geranium lady said, You see, God invented hugs as a way for people to show they care, and no machine, not even the hug aroma matic can ever take the place of real hugs. Zach was so happy that he offered to share his donuts with everyone in exchange for a big hug. Be kind and loving to each other. Ephesians 4.32